Hi guys, this is Kevin here from the Geek Review channel and in this video we are going to learn how to uninstall double tap feature to wake up or sleep the screen on your Asus Zenfone 5. So first let me demonstrate it to you that it still works. So if I double tap on my screen, the screen sleeps and if I double tap again, the screen wakes up. So now first thing that we need to do is we need to revert back to the stock kernel because when you install double tap feature you also install a custom kernel so in order to install a stock kernel i was on the latest lollipop version 3.24.40.87 so what i'll do is i'll open that firmware and inside the firmware i see a boot image so all i'll do is i'll copy it and I'll paste it on my desktop so this is the stock boot image so even if you are on 2.24.40.78 you can extract your stock boot image so first thing we'll do is we'll flash this so to do that we need to press shift and uh, right click button on your mouse and you can open command window here so you don't need to create any separate folder you can do it on your desktop itself so first thing i would uh, recommend you to do is type adb device and press enter so the moment you type adb devices your laptop should show your phone's code and uh, it should show devices written on the right so if it's showing it then you can move ahead so now before flashing the boot image the first thing that we need to do is we need to go to fast boot mode or droid boot mode so to do that we'll type in a command adb reboot bootloader so moment so the moment you give this command your phone will restart into droid boot mode or fast boot mode and once we are here on the fast boot or droid boot mode now we need to flash the boot image that is the stock boot image that we extracted from our firmware so the command would be fast boot flash boot boot dot img and press enter and the moment you do that you have now flashed your stock boot image or your stock kernel so let the phone be connected to the laptop now all you need to do is you need to select the first option that is to reboot to droid boot mode use the power button to select it and let the phone reboot into droid boot mode again So after flashing the stock kernel that is the boot image now the next step that we need to do is we need to lock our bootloader so to lock the bootloader the tool that you have used to unlock your bootloader you can use the same and you will see an option to relock the bootloader so you need to click on it. and. Now we need to press enter
So now you can see that we have logged our bootloader. So the second step is done. So you can just press any key and on your keyboard and wait for the phone to switch on. So I guess some people out here might see the USB logo. So just in case if you see that all you need to do is you need to unplug your USB cable from your laptop and just restart your phone manually and your phone will be fine. So now the next step would be to download ES File Explorer. If in case you have not installed it, download it from the Play Store and you need to click on this option on the left top corner. And once you do that, you need to scroll all the way down until you see this option root explorer by default it will be disabled you need to enable it and the moment you enable it your super su will ask you to grant the permission so kindly grant the permission so the next step would be to click on device scroll down and click on system then you need to click on etc click on permission and you need to search for ASUS hardware touch so if you click on it you will see that this is the file that we have actually installed to activate the double tap feature so this file has to be deleted So we can simply delete it here. And after you do that, you need to again reboot your device or restart your device. So let's restart the device. I'll simply give a command And once your phone switches on, you would have disabled double tap feature to wake up and double tap feature to sleep. The So now after disabling it, if I double tap on my screen, as you can see, nothing's happening now. So you have successfully disabled or uninstalled double tap feature to wake up and sleep. So now the next step would be, we need to go to the Super SU app. So click and open it. And here you need to delete the ADB shell and once you do that the next step would be if in case you want to unroot your phone and you want to go totally stock so that you can receive OTA update 
then you need to go to settings and scroll all the way down and you'll find full and root so kindly click on it and click continue and once you do that you need to restart your phone and your phone will completely unroot well I'm not doing it because I don't want to unroot my phone as of now and then the final step would be to flash the fast boot image of the lollipop firmware that you are on because when you unlock your bootloader it uh, flashes a KitKat fastboot image so we'll again flash it back to lollipop so now the next step is to keep your phone connected to your laptop and press shift and right click on your mouse and click on open command window here and now we need to type a command adb reboot bootloader we need to go to bootloader in order to flash the stock droid boot image and make sure that you keep the firmware ready on your desktop so now all we need to do is we need to open the firmware and copy the droid boot image and paste it on the desktop and now we need to flash this droid boot image so in order to flash the droid boot image we will type a command fastboot flash fastboot droidboot dot img and press enter and after flashing it now we will again give it a command Fast boot, reboot, bootloader, and press enter. And once the phone reboots into fastboot mode, you can see that now the user interface is that of your stock lollipop. So there you go. You have successfully uninstalled Zen Motion and you have completely restored your phone to stock and you will be able to receive OTA updates. So if in case you like this video, give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel that's geeky review do write down if in case you're facing any issue this is kevin signing off from geeky review